Dr. Coin back at it again and welcome back to the Coin Cave. I just got back from the bank. I just got a box of nickels. I've been promising you guys a coin roll hunt for a few weeks now and it's time to make good on that promise. I'm really hoping I can find some World War II in here, maybe a little bit older than that. If not, hopefully I can find some 1957s. Always looking for the 1957s with the bug tailing. Other than that, there's a lot of other variations that I'm looking for. So let's quickly show you guys the book that I'm going to be using for reference today. A lot of the time I write down the dates and mintages that I'm looking for on a piece of paper. But I decided to make it a little bit easier for myself and I made this little book here. Um, so basically I just have some information about Canadian nickels. Just a little bit of information there. And then right here is just a quick reference of all the dates that I'm looking for. Because uh, sometimes looking through the books can be a little bit uh, of a time lengthy procedure. So anything you can do to cut down the time while you're going through there. So this is just a quick reference. Let me know what you guys think of this, if I should keep these going. Other than that, time to break into this box and see what we got. So let's start hunting, guys. So, it's time to break into this bad boy and see what we're dealing with here. I got my handy dandy letter opener as usual. So, they taped this sucker pretty good. Hopefully they taped it for a good reason here. All right. We have broken the seal. So, now, time to look and see if we got any enders. And, uh, I can see that they are pretty circulated, so that's good. A good sign right away. You always want to look and see if you got circulated coins, so. All right. Yep, it looks like. Looks like these are pretty circulated. Awesome, so. I'm not going to look at every single one of these for enders because uh, there's no point because a lot of them are double are wrapped on the one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start breaking into the, each one of these rolls for you guys and let's see what we got. So let's take a look. So let it begin. Roll number one. Let's see what we got. We got a plastic roll. So we're going to be able to look right off the bat and see what exactly we are dealing with here. Well, you can tell right off the bat that there isn't any octagon nickels there. Well, we got the Centennial. Doesn't want to zoom. There we go. But that's not really what I'm looking for right now. Looking for 2006s. That's a good year. 2006s without a mint mark. But I'm also going to have to take a look and see what I need in my collection because there's a 2000 right there. Now, if this is a 2000 MP, that's good. Nope, that is not a 2000 MP. That is just a regular 2000. Now, that is unfortunate. But I'll put it aside for now. Two thousand seven, two thousand three, two thousand three P's can actually be pretty decent too. So, but I have a bunch of those already. I don't really need to hold on to those. A very nice looking 2001P there. Very shiny. I don't think it's a proof, but I'm definitely going to put it to the side. Because that is nice.
a little bit of lint there. That's always nice to get. 2006. What does it got? Royal Canadian Mint Mark or nothing? Let's hope for nothing. I think that's a P or it's a nothing. But we're going to hold on to that. Oh, that's a 2005. <clears throat> But I'm not seeing a lot of old ones in this roll. But, you know, it's not even a paper roll, so what are you going to do? Alright. So, let's clean this up and let's open the next roll. I was just taking a quick look at my collection to see exactly what I needed to fill in. And I am super stoked right now because I have the 2005 commemorative war nickel but I do not have the regular 2005 and I just got that so that's awesome so some of the other ones quickly just a quick run over that I'm looking for big time are the 1991 1997 um, I'm also looking for 2009 and 2010 those are gonna be pretty easy to find so let's keep this going and let's see what we find in roll number two so, roll number two. What are we going to get? A paper roll. Hopefully we get something a little bit older in this one. Come on, get out of there. Well, we definitely got full rolls, it looks like. Ninety-nine, not bad. Eighty-five. So we're starting to get some older years here. Let's see. Another centennial ninety-two. Eighty-four. Get into the oldies. Ooh, there we go. A 68. Now, might have to check that one out with the microscope after because there is some sweet variations for this one. Throw that in the pile. Very nice shiny 2018. Alright, time to pick up the pace. Gotta get where we're going, 1998, unfortunately not a 1997, that'd be nice. Ooh, a 2000, but not a 2000P, but that's in good shape, so throw that in the pile. 84, 2009, 1999, that's a 10P. You know, I don't keep all of the ones that I throw to the side, but sometimes if it just looks interesting, I'll throw it and make a second guess after. Whether I want to keep it or not, a lot of them, probably more than half, I end up chucking back or putting back into the rolls. So, if you see me keeping a lot of them, or see me putting a lot of them in the keep pile over here, doesn't necessarily mean I'm keeping them. So, nothing earlier than this Elizabeth had so far, but a pretty good sign, <clears throat> 2000, not a 2000P, looking for that 2000P always, that's the big one, oh, another 2005P. And not as in good a shape as the other one we got. Alright. Let's clean this up. Roll number three. Really hoping I can pull an octagon nickel out of 
one of these rolls really soon just to give me a little bit of confidence. That's always when my heart starts pounding is when I see those octagon sides. Ooh, there's a really dark one there at the end, but it just looks really nasty. Ooh, it's a nasty 2012. This one looks awfully shiny. What is this one? A 2016, very shiny 2016. But nothing too special, but as far as I can see. Take a quick gander through the rest of these here. But I do not see, look at this one. Oh, that is just disgusting. Someone threw this in a campfire or something. Nasty. All right. Hmm. A lot of new ones in this one. That's not good. That is not good at all. What is that? A 90? A oh, 90. All right, we'll hold on to that. We'll hold on to that. 95. Boy, these 91s can be tricky. Oop. What is this? 74. Nice. Okay, so there is a few old ones tucked away in this guy. Hmm. Not a single U.S. coin yet either. Strange. Usually I find a lot more U.S. coins by now. I usually throw those to the side. You never know with those U.S. coins when you're going to have a nice valuable one. Not a lot of 2006s in here either, huh? Strange. Two thousand eight. All right, well, a few old ones. All right, let's see what's in the next one. So I think the oldest that I found so far is a 68. See if we can find something a little older than that, please. I thought I might have saw something there, but might have just tricked my, tricked my eyes. Hmm. Not any octagons that I can see from there, but sometimes they can stay tucked away. Another 68. Nice. A 98. 90. 82. Oops, don't think I wanted to keep that 2008. Nope, not at all. Got to make sure you chuck them in the right pile. Strange. Not many 2000. Oh, there we go. 2006. What does it have on the back? Nothing. Sweet. That is the good one. Not in good shape, though. If this was a little in better shape, it might be worth a couple bucks, actually. Like a buck or two. But, throw it in the pile. Uh, 2006 with no mint mark. It's a nice one. Keep your eye out for it. 85. Nah, not what we are looking for. Ooh. 2006P. Now that's the one you don't want. You want it to either have nothing or you want it to have the Royal Canadian mint mark. So. What's this old one look like? Like 1985. 1986. 1985. I'm going to be chucking a lot of these back. 1993. Now, I wish that was 1991. Wish it was 91. 2001. P. 
I already found that. Two thousand eight. Mm. Nineteen ninety-eight. I already found a bunch of those, so I'm not gonna throw any more of those in the pile. Actually, you know what, I think ninety eight was a little vintage year. I'm still gonna hold on to the nineties and judge that a little bit later. Two thousand three. Oh, there's the 92 Centennial. Well, skunked again on the next now one. This is the part where I start to get a little worried. Am I going to get anything in this box? A single octagon nickel. I don't know. But even one would make it worth my time. So, but that World War II nickel, oof, would I like to have that one? To find it in the wild would be nice. Okay, where do we get here? What do we get? No octagon sides, but do we have anything of age? Oh, there's a U U.S. right there. First one I've seen. Doesn't want to focus. There we go. That's not the US though. Ooh. That's a five. All right, now what year is this US? Are we getting an old one? Looks like a 2002P. Nope, not an old one. But still, throw it in the pot. Ooh, icky. That does not look very nice. Oh, the 2002 Centennial. Hey. Don't really want to touch this one. This is why usually you should probably wear gloves, but I just wash my hands pretty frequently whenever I do anything besides open these rolls. But that does not look nice. Ew. Put that aside over there. I don't want to see that. All right, keep this going, speed it up. 2014, 16, so still a lot of new ones. Still no octagons. Only one American 1985, there we go. But not what we're looking for. So probably not gonna keep most of those 85 or 80s. Probably gonna toss most of them back. A 90, in decent shape. A 92, Jefferson. Ninety-one, ninety. 90. Boy, these 91s are hard to find, I tell you. 87, ooh, I like the look of that one. It's got some age and, you know, some character to it. Looks like very old, but interesting. Uh, All right, nothing in that one, nothing uh, worth mentioning at least. Uh, really hoping this box will bear some fruit soon. Something earlier than a 68. Something from the 50s maybe. Something with a young Elizabeth head. Now I have found 
young George heads in these rolls, but it's not very often. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, nothing at first sight. Let's see. Ooh, another gross one there. Not nice. No, a 96, not a 97. Sorry, a little bit of an interruption there, but going through that roll, um, I did find a 2006 with the Royal Canadian Mint Mark. So, there is the other variation of the three. So, not bad. On to the next. My success rate with these rolls has been uh, not so good. I don't know about you guys, but maybe you can let me know how you guys do with these clear rolls if you ever get them. But, I mean, it's pretty easy to tell if there's old coins in there. So, if they're hand rolled, then most likely. And man, they just tape these things so friggin' well. How the heck are you supposed to get in there? That is quite the tape job. Well, screw that roll. Deal with that one later. Let's see what's in here. Um, ooh, what's that? That's an interesting. No, that's just an extremely dirty. Centennial. All right. Not what we are looking for. Let's see. 93. Even if I can find a 91, that would be very nice. Oh, our second American. Ooh. That has a nice sheen to it. Very nice. Interesting. 1990. All right. Very nice. Another dirty centennial. I don't know why those want to attract so much dirt. They like to disguise themselves as the old ones, I guess. Well, another stinker. Alright, so I'm going to open this one last roll on camera for you guys, and then I'm going to just do updates for every couple rolls that I do if I find anything good, which is how I usually do it. But let's see if anything in this last roll. Well, no octagons from the first look. Well, you can tell this one went through a coin counter from the lines going around the outside. You can see, usually coin counting machines will make indentations like that on the coins. So, that's kind of interesting, but not a year that we want, so. Is that an American? Nope. Hmm. 
Oh, that's a very shiny Centennial. Interesting. Well, looks like nothing in that world too. Well, so far, not looking good. So, I'm going to jump ahead a few rolls and let you guys know if I find anything interesting. So, I'll tune you guys back in in a few. So, I just found this roll. Don't know exactly what this means, but this could be, uh, this could be something. Let's take a look. my god guys oh my god oh my god guys this entire roll oh my no no this this is not this cannot be possible i'm not even joking you guys i'm not this is no 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 1964 no way. No way. Oh my god. 1963. No way. Oh my god. These are all young Elizabeth heads. This is why we do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. 68. Uh. 63, 64, these are all exactly what the rules said, 60 to 64, there might be something else in here guys, oh my, oh my, oh my, 68, no 63, those threes really look like eights, jeez, probably looks better for you guys on the camera, oh my, oh my, no way, 64, 64, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. How? 63. These are all. That is amazing. That is amazing. None of these are octagons though. That I can see so far. I think I might see a few more ahead there actually. Let's see. If we can get a little bit earlier than these 63s. 63. Oh my. Well, I think this box was worth it. Oh, there we go. We just hit some octagons right there. This is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. 63. What are these? What are these octagons here? 62. This must be a collection dump right here. 62. 62 62 these are in really good shape too if there's any variables in here then I'm gonna have a heyday looking for those well I think I found some octagons these are all sorted too it looks like the older the farther back you go the older they seem to get 61 this is amazing. This is amazing. I should have just kept this going because this was two rolls down from when I stopped. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I still have a lot of rolls left to go. 60. So, this is exactly what the rolls say, 1960 and up. Uh, there could be something else special in here. But even if there isn't, this is, uh, this is it. This is the... This is worth it. That's a whole roll of 1960 to 1964 nickels. Now, my writing ain't even that pretty, so I can't believe that. I don't even, I don't even have words, but that is amazing. 
So I, I might take a look and see if there's any more rules that have that written on it. But if not, then uh, then I'm going to keep going through it and I'm going to let you guys know if I find anything else. Well, I guess today's my lucky day because I just found these. Well, at least I hope it's my lucky day. I mean, they could have been some older dates, but if these are what they say they are, then I don't know. 1964, a whole roll of 1964 is a, that's interesting, I wonder why the bank didn't mess with this, they just probably counted all the rolls and gave this guy his money. Nineteen sixty four. Nineteen sixty four. Nineteen sixty four. Whoops. Well, it looks like this is exactly what it says it is, which is a whole roll of nineteen sixty fours. So, this is probably worth couple more than two bucks probably like three or four bucks for this so that's not bad hold on to this all right I'm just gonna roll roll this back up right into these rolls after honestly why not to whoever left these at the bank thank you very much I'm very much appreciated if you don't want them I'll gladly take them so 1964 and 65, this is with uh, keeping with the other two rolls, then I'm expecting a roll of 64s and 65s. Well, looks like a 65. No. I believe it's 65s with the large and small identical variations. So, definitely going to be looking through some of those 65s, because some of these are in really good shape. Jeez. That one is in great shape. All right. Well, that is absolutely amazing. This box has already been completely worth it. This is the best coin roll hunt I have done so far, by far. Um, I'm going to continue doing coin roll hunting simply because of this box. But I still have, um, I think I'm only about 10 rolls down when I found those marked rolls. So... I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep searching, and hopefully I can find some more octagon nickels because you never know, right? But from all of these clear rolls that I've seen so far, I haven't searched a single one. They all seem to be pretty new. I don't see any really old ones, so that's unfortunate. But this was my lucky day, and let's keep searching. All right. Well, I think I might have just spotted something. I thought I'd let you guys in on this one. What do we have here? Looks like a 1961 octagon nickel. No, that's a little anticlimactic since we just found three rolls full of them. But, I mean, hey, why not take another one? This one's in pretty rough circulated shape, but finding these in the wild, can't complain. Oh, what's this? We got another one here. A 61. Nice. Well, not bad. Um, might as well finish looking through this roll before I tune you guys out. Um, oh, oh, what's this? A 64. Alrighty. We are, uh, we're talking with this one. I don't think this is a coin dump, but we got Centennial War there. Plated though. Oh, not bad. A few octagons in that one. 65 there. Well, that's a nice old one. That was a clear roll too, so that's a good sign, honestly. Alright, let's see what else we got in these other rolls. Well, I couldn't even spot this one in the clear roll, honestly, but let's see if you guys can tell. That's all I saw. And you know what that is right there. That's my buddy, George. What year is it? Focus. 
a 1950. Not bad at all. Awesome. All right, this box has been amazing. A King George. Can't complain about that. All right, well, I'm gonna keep looking through this roll and then I'm gonna keep it going and let you guys know if I find anything else because, geez, this box has just been a treasure trove so far. All right, another one of those clear rolls and maybe I was wrong. Maybe these clear rolls are actually not so bad because... I spotted this. It's an Elizabeth head, 1957. Now that is nice. It's a little rough shape, a little matte, but it'll do. So, not bad. I can't see any other good ones in there. One shiny one, but I just think that's a newer coin. So, keep this going and see what else we can find. Getting to about a third to halfway through the box now, and I just made the best find yet, a 1949 George head. So, getting pretty close to where I want to be, to the World War II era. This was nice to see. It's pretty rough shape, but that's alright. I'll take it. So, second George head of the box. My worries have gone and turned to joy not bad at all so let's see if I can find one more of these if not that's all right but you know let this be a lesson to you guys I mean I've heard things like Canadian coin roll hunting isn't uh, isn't as successful as American and uh, you know you can find lots of good stuff depending on what you're looking for these nickels for me this is exactly what I'm looking for so not bad at all. Let's see if I can find another one. Well, of all the George Heads and Young Elizabeths that I found, who would have thought that this would have been one of the hardest? But luckily, I got it in 1991. It's an extremely low mintage, and all the boxes I've looked through, through so far, I haven't been able to find a single one. So awesome that I was able to get this 91. So scratch the 91 off the list. Now i got to find the 97, and then my collection is pretty much complete from... Uh, the 90s. Oh man, this was a hard one to find. Um, this is looking like I won a box if you're lucky right here. But boy am I glad that I actually found it because I really needed it in my collection. So I got the 1997 and the 1991 both in this box. These are both really low mintage. Um, if you give me one second, I'll tell you exactly what the mintage is for both of these. The mintage for the 1991 is 10 million. And the mintage for is not as low for the 1997, but it is still pretty low. Um, so I'm really glad to have this. So that way I can fill out my collection. And uh, I did find another few Elizabeth head octagons um, so far. And I still have about a third of the box left to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up. And then at the very end, I'll show you guys what else I find in the remainder. Other than that, this has been absolutely amazing and I am so stoked I cannot wait to I'm gonna try and get another box from this bank as soon as possible because this was uh, the best coin roll hunt I could possibly imagine so yep I'll check back in with you guys once I'm done this box alright so it's time for the post hunt weigh-in this was a very good hunt um, as good as any coin roll hunter could ever hope to do um, I got three rolls here of 1960s, obviously a coin dump from somebody that was collecting. It would have been nice if these were 50s or a little older, but that is just awesome. I won't have to buy these to fill collections, and this is exactly what I was looking for. So that's amazing. And then these two stacks right here, these are young Elizabeth heads that I found in the loose rolls, and these are 1960s. Um, that are the intermediate Elizabeth head. And then these are two young George heads. King George the sixth. And we have a 1949. And we have a 1950. So, 
If you're wondering, if you want to get into coin roll hunting, is this for you? Is it worth it? Are you going to find anything good? Hopefully this answers your question. Um, I suggest that if you have a hunt this good that you pick up a box from your bank as soon as possible. Another box from the same bank because for all you know, there could have been a massive coin dump from a collector and there could be a bunch more older dates. So I'm definitely going to pick up another box and do another hunt really soon. But other than that guys, this is Dr. Coin checking out. Make sure to hit the uh, like button and subscribe so you can watch more of my uh, coin hunting videos and my coin unboxing videos. Other than that guys, thanks a lot for watching.